Welcome to episode 140, 140 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're going to talk about how you don't know what you really got until it's gone. We're making our way through the fog of life, and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. (laughs) Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Episode 140, we are creeping in on three years but we're not there yet. We have some time to go. We're not going to rest on that. We're at 140 today. And actually, I was going to talk about this book today, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. But right before I hit the record button, I changed my mind. And the reason I changed my mind is because this week has been a, a really busy, busy, busy week. Videos and podcasts and live streams and met with a bunch of people and announced that we're having a live event. And by the way, I'm going to have a live event in Philly in November. That's right, live, in person. Maybe we'll put some details in this email or if you're on the email list. If you're not, you should be, claritycompressed.com. And uh, it's gonna be really limited because of COVID and everything. So it's gonna be small. I'm expecting tickets to sell out. So we might do a like a waiting list or pre-signups or a lottery, I don't know. Especially if you're in automotive, you're gonna wanna be here. It's literally the only live in-person event in automotive this year, and we're gonna host it the way we do. So either way, that had me thinking about today's topic is that you don't really know what you got until it's gone. I know it's bad grammar. Don't know what you got till it's gone. And COVID and this continuation of this prolonged pandemic, this prolonged situation we're in where all of a sudden things begin to be taken out of our lives relatively quickly that we had taken for granted and that we had always had. I think it's just in human nature to take things for granted thinking about what it is that gets us that way is really a lack of appreciation for what we have. When we have an ample supply of, let's go real basic, fresh water, you take it for granted. But if you've ever lived in a place where you didn't have fresh water, you understand how critical and how essential that is to just doing anything in life. We had a we had an issue at our house. So my house is in the country, so we have a well. And I didn't realize this when we first moved out there because I always had city water. But one day the power went out and that's fine if the power goes out, right? You can make it. Everyone's had the power go out and, you know, you, you can kind of rough it for a little bit. And, you know, you don't have your lights and, you know, light some candles and you don't have your TV and all that. So, but you can make it. However, if you have a well, the water gets from the well to your house via a pump that's powered by electricity. That's a different game when you can't flush a toilet. Can I get an amen? And so a really basic level, but a really essential level, I realized that I took water for granted. And now you start to play that out through a pandemic situation. We realize, hey, there we took the availability of toilet paper for granted. Then we took the availability of meat in the grocery store for granted. And very quickly, you start realizing all the things that you took for granted. And this didn't just start at the pandemic. This is really just indicative of the human condition. How often, even in like a relationship, do you realize you can take something for granted? How many times have we abandoned a relationship for another relationship throughout the course of our lives and realize, oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe that other relationship wasn't so bad. Maybe I just took all those good things for granted. I mean, it starts really early. And then, you know, maybe you've had the experience where you, even as a kid, your parents, you, you might have taken their love or their provision for you for granted until you got out of the house and you realize like, oh, they actually did all that stuff that I just never thought about because I took it for granted. You know, you go through life and you realize this and I've seen relationships break up. People leave one person for another person and they realize, oh, actually, I, I, I had it better the other way around. I just took it for granted. And here we are in COVID, coming through COVID, Hopefully, we'll see how long it takes. And you realize how many things we took for granted about the ways we got to do business and the ways we got to go to school and the ways we got to interact with one another and go to the store and eat at restaurants and not wear a mask. We took all that for granted. But isn't it that way? You never take the fact like right now, like no one's thinking, boy, my foot feels really great right now or my elbow feels really great right now. But if you had an injury, if you had a splinter, if you worked out really hard and you're really sore, you're like, oh, maybe I took feeling good for granted. Now, granted, some pain is good, 
but you don't think about it until the pain comes and you don't realize how good you have it until the pain comes. I don't know if you're like me, like you, you've gotten sick and you have had the thought like, I will never take being healthy for granted again because you don't realize how great it is to go through life with a clear head and a throat that isn't sore until you have a really bad sore throat and you have a headache and you're walking through it and you're like, oh, okay, like waking up and feeling good is something I shouldn't take for granted. And so this live event that I mentioned at the beginning of the show, we're having a live event because we have taken getting together as humans, we've taken it for granted. So much for granted that now here we are almost a year in with no live events, you know, in the industry I I am highly involved in, which is the retail automotive industry. The last event I was at was at the beginning of the year. But prior to that, I would be in at one event a month. This year, I had a lot of events scheduled that got canceled. And you realize that getting together and being together was something that we took for granted. Now, I know we have Zoom and we have phones and all that. But look, it is just not the same. It's not the same. I guess some introverts might like it better this way. I hate it. I mean, Grant, I do get to talk to a lot more people these days, and I get to be in a lot of meetings that may not have happened because I thought I had to be there, but I actually Zoom is sufficient. But the human connection and the human condition is one which very easily takes things for granted. The whole point of this episode, and the reason I wanted to do this instead of talking about the power of habit and cues and routines and reward, the reason I wanted to talk about this is during a pandemic, during a crazy election season, during a hypercharged political environment, when we are physically separated by all these conditions, I think it's a good idea to take a fresh look, to get some fresh perspective, to get some really fresh clarity on where you are on the map and the map of how much you are appreciating the things that are good in your life right now. And also, how much are you taking for granted that you shouldn't take for granted. You can fix this and start to correct this immediately, immediately. You know, some people have a gratitude journal. I've done that over periods of my life. Um, You know, probably the longest was a number of months. Every morning I'd wake up, I would write down three things every day that I was thankful for. What that did was begin to orient my mind in the direction of gratitude, which is also AKA not taking things for granted because that really is the antithesis or what combats taking things for granted is being grateful for things that you have. So if nothing else that you take away from this, I hope that this episode helps realign you on the things that you have and the things you should be taking, being grateful for and not taking for granted so that if one day those things are removed, you won't have to say, boy, I really took that for granted. No, you can get every ounce of appreciation and gratitude for it today, which is where the real reward is for all of the good things that are a part of our lives. And let's be honest, if you are able to watch or listen to this podcast right now, that means you have enough good things in your life that you have the flexibility and the luxury of consuming content for enrichment. So I don't know if I got too deep on that. I hope it makes sense. I hope everyone that's watching or listening to this will write down three things that you're grateful for, three things that you could take for granted, but you're not going to because you are now you are now acknowledging that you're grateful for them. May you walk this next week not taking anything for granted, especially the things that are most important. I can't wait to talk with you next week. I hope I get to connect with you through this week. As usual, I don't take for granted that anyone would watch or listen any bit of content that I produce. So thank you, I'm grateful for you, and I will see you next week. You just gotta love some.